Hello, Minions. I'm here today to talk about great appeals. So we're in that time of year when suddenly students wake up and they discover, I'm getting a grade in this class. And instead of doing the work that they were supposed to do, they think maybe I'll come and beg and that will take care of things. You can guess how that normally works out. But today I want to offer a grand bargain. And I want to offer this grand bargain on behalf of not just me, but all professors and indeed all teachers everywhere, I think would agree with this grand bargain if only the students will agree to it. So there's lots of kinds of appeals students do. One thing they appeal to say is they ask, can I do extra credit? And of course, my response is you didn't do the regular credit. Why would I take on extra work to give you extra credit when you didn't do what you were assigned to do? The point of the extra credit is that it is extra on top of what you have already done, which in your case is little or nothing. Right? Uh, sometimes they'll offer to do things outside of class from all sorts of questionable favors that they'll offer to I'll mow your lawn. I'll, I'll, uh, I one time had a student who offered to give me $2,000 if I changed their grade. Um, I did offer him and said, listen, if you, how about if you just give me the $2,000 and I won't change your grade. And he didn't like that very much, which is sad because I could use $2,000. Uh, you know, uh, one time I had a student who asked, uh, if he could wash my truck and I said, why don't you write an essay about washing trucks? And he said, well, that's, he said, I'll do anything within reason, but not that. So the end result of all this is that these great appeals ultimately are useless, but I want to make my grand bargain around one particular kind of appeal. And that is the, couldn't you please round my grade up? Now, this is annoying for a variety of reasons. One is that it's very often unreasonable. The largest roundup I've ever had was a young woman who was getting a D and asked if I could round her grade up to an A. Well, that is a very round uh, shape she's offering indeed to go from a D to an A. Uh, I guess the idea is that if you're getting a 51%, it should be rounded up to 100%, perhaps. Uh, she didn't receive the grade she wanted. Uh, so this idea of rounding up grades it ignores certain things. First of all, it ignores the simple math of the grade. Like this is the grade that you have earned. Also, there's a question of like, why don't you show me any kind of mercy? The original grade you received was the mercy. If I actually gave you the grade that I felt that you deserved, you would be all be rounded up from an F. Uh, you know, very often the students who come, usually the students who come in and ask for the rounding are the students who never had any hope of getting the grade they want rounded up to anyway. But aside from this, it's just the question of how rounding works. It's a very obnoxious question. So I want to offer this grand bargain on my uh, uh, from me, but not from me personally on behalf of all your professors. So if all the students out there by mutual acclaim agree to this bargain, then I think I can speak for all the professors and all the teachers in the world and say that we will go along with it. And here's what it is. I will agree to round up your grade. If you agree that when the grade is below the center, it should be rounded down on all your classes, on all your assignments from here on out. Ooh, oh, wait, that's right. Rounding doesn't only work up. Rounding works down as well. 94%, you got a B. 84%, you got a C. Right? And so if you want to round things up and round things down, I can do this. This is part of the bargain. I'll round them up and I'll round them down. Well, you might be looking at your current GPA and thinking like, ooh, if I look at my last few grades, 
I would do better. And it's possible that you could. But more likely, a lot of you would be receiving 74% on a lot of your assignments from me. And then at the end of the day, I'll say like, well, I gave you a C on everything. I just had to round it down to a D. Very sorry for you. But it's part of the grand bargain that you made. And now you get rounded down. So on behalf of all the other educators out there, I want to uh, offer you this grand bargain and to see if everyone out there is willing to take it. I suspect that the teachers and professors will be much more willing to take it than the students are. So minions, enjoy your 64.9%.